I'm Patrick Bailey with IQS.com. Today is March 29th, 2020, and in this video I'll be going over be going over the Spacer 3D print I put up on PrusaPrinters.org to use with a swing line printer hole punch that is used to make the face shields for the 3D Verkistan face shield design. Currently in Colorado, uh, they want the Prusa RC3 face shield, not the 3D Verkistan. So if you're in Colorado, print that one out. Do not print this one out if you want to get to the doctors. Um, also in California, they want the Prusa RC3 as well. Now in Conroe, I have talked to a few people and they think this might be adequate for um, first responders, police and the like. Uh, there are some advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is it prints faster um, and the other advantage is you have no, um, you have no elastic on the, on the end. So you can put it on here and it's just all one piece and you're good to go. The other advantage is you can get these transparency papers, cut them out and punch them out really quick and put them on. One of the disadvantages, and I can see why the doctors might not like this or have studied and don't like it, is the distance between the face shield and your head. This is much greater on the Prusa R3 versus this, so I can see why they want this, not this right now. And they may never want this. They just might want this as a because they can't get a hold of this one. Um, now going through this, so here is the Prusa RC3. Print this if you're in Colorado or California. Um, but also keep up to date where people are changing. But what I'm talking about right now is the 3D Verkistan, and here's a link to them, and that you can go download what they have. They have different ones based on region, based on different hole punch designs that different people have. Now, the idea is uh, they did try to do it with three, but it's not stable enough. They do six. So the idea is you take some kind of transparency film, something like uh, overhead projector slides, which I'll show in a minute here, or laminate, something like that. You run through a laminator, and you have this clear plastic, and then you can take it, put it in a hole punch, punch it once, move it, punch it twice, and then attach it and you're good to go. Um, so what I've done is uh, all I did was make a little spacer for this exact one to make life easy. So you can put it against here, press it, flip it over and press it again and you get a perfect line every time uh, for the American design. Now what I'm using is a swing line right here and here's a link to what I bought at Walmart recently. Uh, so there's that. Uh, also, here's what I put up on prusaprinters.org. You can go download that and print that. Normally, I'd go over the numbers, but this is so quick. It prints in less than 20 minutes and you're good to go. Um, also, for those who may want, I did pick up a bunch of boxes of this at uh, at the home uh, uh, office depot recently. Uh, the, aside from one box, I've left all the other ones sealed because I hope at some point, if they want to get these to first responders in Colorado, I can just hand the boxes to them, the people who will process it, who will clean everything and, and build them and hand them out because, you know, have, have it done in one place is better than having it done in multiple places to assemble them. Uh, but also for right now in Colorado, they don't want these. They don't want these right now. Um, also over here is a link to where it's on Amazon. Uh, so with that, uh, let me get going and show you how I had to modify this I had to cut out a section here so that things would extend beyond and also just how to use it in general okay so again here's here's one I prepared so I've got my little slider in here that's my adjustment and this is the model I have this is a simplex swing line I got it at Walmart and here is the item code just in case that is important I don't know at this time but the idea is I need to cut out parts so that I can actually extend the plastic beyond. And so you can see, get a good shot of that. Doesn't need to be pretty, just need to cut that and file it down. So all I'm going to do is I got a couple more here. And so here's a complete before. And here's one I'm working on right now. So I got my Dremel tool out. There's many ways to do this. I just need to grind this off somehow. Now it's going to be really hot, so don't touch it, but I probably can put 
probably should have had a tool out here to do this, but... I think it's cooled off enough now. Well, it's still hot. There we go. And then, that's still pretty sharp, so I'm going to file it down. I'm also filing the top part just so people don't hurt themselves. And make sure that's okay. Make sure that's okay. Get it all back together. Now the one I have is a little thick, so you actually have to open it up a little bit to get in here to first. But the nice thing is, since it's thicker, it does grab onto and stay, so it's not going to wiggle too much. There you go. Okay, so here is the hole punch. And here is this that goes inside, which is out on Prusa right now, so you can download it. And it's too thick to go in, so you got to push it down a little bit and then hook it on the side, and then when you let go it'll cinch on it so it actually won't come loose. Now the important thing is you want to make sure it's nice and against that and square. Then you take a clear plastic piece, which could be this, or you can take laminate and run it through a lamination machine and that'll work too. And then what you got to do is put this in here, make sure it lines up right, one hole punch, then flip it, put it in there again, make sure it's pressed against the side, here and against the back, hole punch it again, and now you've got all these, and now you can assemble it. Now normally, you know, if you were assembling this, you'd be having gloves on and all that good stuff. I'm just doing this just to show you people right now how to do it. Make sure they're all on because that gives it the rigidity it needs to hold up. And there you go.